Joel chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel, Hear this, you old men, and give ear, all you people of the land. Has this been in your days, or even the days of your fathers? Tell your children of it. And let your children tell their children, and their children another generation. That which the creeping locust has left, the swarming locust has eaten. And that which the swarming locust has left, the devouring locust has eaten. And that which the devouring locust has left, the hopping locust has eaten. Awake, drunkards, and weep, and howl, all you drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation has come up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he has the cheek teeth of a great lion. He has laid my vine waste and barked my fig tree. He has made it completely bare and cast it away. Its branches are made white. Weep like a virgin clothed with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The meal offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. And the priests and the Lord's ministers mourn. The field is wasted. The land mourns for the grain is wasted. The new wine is dried up. The oil tree droops. Be ashamed, O husbandmen, howl, O vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field has perished. The vine is dried up, and the fig tree droops, and the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, and all the trees of the field are dried up, because joy has dried up from the sons of men. Clothe yourselves, and weep, you priests, howl, you ministers of the altar, Come lie all night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God, for the meal offering and the drink offering is held back from the house of your God. Set apart therefore a fast and call a solemn gathering. I gather the elders and all the people of the land into the house of the Lord your God. Cry unto the Lord, Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a ruin from the Almighty. Is not the food cut off before our eyes, and joy and gladness from the house of our God? The seed is rotten under their clods, the storage bins are laid waste, the barns are broken down, for the grain has dried up. How the beasts groan! The herds of cattle are troubled because they have no pasture. Yes, the flocks of sheep are destroyed. O Lord, unto thee will I cry. For the fire has burned up the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame has burned all the trees of the field. And the beasts of the fields also cry to thee, for the rivers of water are dried up, and the fire has burned up the pastures of the wilderness. Joel chapter 2 Blow the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord comes. It is near at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong people, there has not ever been the like, neither shall there ever be again, even to the years of many generations. A fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is as the Garden of Eden, before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yes, and nothing shall escape them. They look like horses, and like horsemen, so they shall run. They shall leap like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, like the noise of a flame of fire that devours the stubble, but a strong people set in battle order. Before their face the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march each one upon his way, and they shall not break their ranks, neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk each one in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. And they shall enter into the windows like a thief. The earth shall tremble before them, 
and the heavens shall shake. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for strong is he who does his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can stand it? Yet even now, saith the Lord, turn unto me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Yes, tear your heart, and not your robes, and turn to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great kindness, and repents of the evil. Who knows if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, a meal offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn gathering, gather the people and sanctify the congregation, gather the elders, gather the children and those who suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of her room. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porches and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, spare thy people, and give not thine inheritance to shame, that the heathen should rule over them. Why should they say among the people, Where is your God? Then the Lord will be jealous for his land and pity his children. Yes, the Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied with it. And I will no more make you a curse among the heathen, but I will remove the northern army far from you, and I will drive him into a barren and deserted land, and his face toward the eastern sea, and his rear toward the western sea. And his stink shall come up, and his ill odor shall come up, because he has done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Do not be afraid, you beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness spring up. For the tree bears her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Be glad, then, children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain according to righteousness, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain, in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore you to the years which the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper and the destroyer and the cutter, my great army which I sent amongst you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt with you wonderfully, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and no one else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And afterward I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions, and also I will pour out my Spirit upon the men servants and upon the maid servants in those days. And I shall show wonders in the heavens above and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For salvation shall be in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord hath shall call. Joel chapter 3. For behold, in those days and in that time when I will bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will fight with them there for my people and for my inheritance, Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and divided my land. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, so that they might drink. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the borders of Palestine? Will you give me a reward? And if you reward me swiftly and speedily, I will turn your reward upon your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried my desirable things into your temples." You have also sold the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem to the sons of the Grecians 
that you might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them, and will turn your reward upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, unto a people afar off. For the Lord hath spoken it. Declare this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come upon us. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into swords. And let the weak say, I am strong. Gather yourselves, and come, all you nations, and gather yourselves to gather all around. And cause thy mighty ones to come down there, O Lord. Let the nations be awakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the nations all around. Put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come down, for the press is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of the decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall also roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will beat the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So ye shall know that I am the Lord, your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy, and no stranger shall pass through her any more. And in that day the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the waters of Judah shall flow with waters. And the fountain shall come forth from the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a ruin, and Edom shall be a deserted wilderness, because of the violence against the children of Judah. For they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem shall be from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood, which I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwells in Zion.